Hi, this is Gail. Welcome to my channel. I do service dog Q&A on Friday with me and Tomlin. Hi, Tomlin. Can you say hi? <laughs> Never mind. He's not going to say hi today. But you can tell that my service dog is making himself very at home right here on my lap. You goofy mutt. Anyhow, the question came in from Bethany. And she wanted to know what the best place is to take a service dog and what I felt like the worst place has been to take a service dog so far. So, Tomlin, let's share our ideas here. I would say that probably the best place on the planet that I have been with Tomlin so far, the best place to have this service dog has been Walt Disney World. I know that may sound a little extreme for some people, but everybody, when we went to Walt Disney World with the service dog, everybody was great. Staff, just very accommodating. They actually paused one of the little ferries going across for a few, for a minute, because um, I needed a little bit more extra time to get onto the ferry. So they kind of paused that for a minute to give us time to get on and get settled. Everybody was really nice there to try to make sure that we got like, first in line so we wouldn't hold everybody up as much when he was on the monorail and he got underneath my chair and just kind of stayed there nobody even gave him a second glance there was a couple of kids who bent down and looked at him and they were like hey there's a dog down there but the parents were very nice and explained to the kids hey this is a working dog you can't pet them. You know, don't pet the service dog. So there were a lot of educational opportunities. I had a couple of parents who came up to me actually with their kids and asked me to explain to their kids about what a service dog is. So I think that possibly that would have to rank top notch on like the best place that we've ever taken Tomlin. Um, another good thing that I think makes it like the best place for a service dog is they do have boarding. So if you absolutely have to do something, like let's say you want to go on the Harem Bee Safari ride and you don't think your dog is going to be good with some of the exotic animals that they have on the ride, um, you can make arrangements to board them either for the day or overnight, depending on your preference. I don't like boarding Tomlin, but there are times when you know, I feel like I kind of have to do it. Um, but yeah, I would say that Walt Disney World, in my experience, has been like the best place to have a service dog. Um, probably the worst place to have a service dog is school. You know, everybody knows that I've just recently gone back to school. And what makes it a bad place is not the people, because the other students and my professors are all great with having a service dog on a college campus. The problem is that the classrooms are so small, there's not really room for him safely to be into the classroom. I mean, he can go and he'll scoot down and he'll get underneath my chair, but he's kind of a bigger dog. Huskies take up a little bit more room, but if I didn't have a good sized dog if Tomlin was like say you know a smaller dog like a border collie or a small lab then he may not have the ability to carry some of my textbooks so size for me was important in picking him out but we'll talk about more about how he was selected in another video but um, for me just the worst place to have Tomlin is at school because even when he makes himself as little as possible and he gets underneath my, my chair, he's got this fluffy tail sticking out. <laughs> and so invariably, um, people are having to dodge and walk around this tail. And um, I had to go to a math lab for some help a couple of semesters. And whenever we went, um, he would get his tail stepped on or somebody would trip over him even though we all thought he was under the desk and he was as much as he could get under there possible so you know i would say that school is probably uh, college rather is probably the worst place that i've had him and again it's not that i mean the people have been 
awesome at school. I really like being a college student again, but it's just the space issue. The hallway is fine, but the classrooms, not so much. So I think, again, just to recap real quick, Bethany, for you, the best place that I've taken my service dog here has been Walt Disney World, by far and away. And even when the restaurants were a little bit busy, um, there was still space for him to get underneath the chairs and underneath the tables and get out of the way. So yeah, that's why I think Walt Disney World has been the best place um, that we've taken the service dog. And college is probably the worst place where we have had a service dog. And that's just because the desks are packed so tightly. So if you've got any suggestions that you want to share with Bethany or share with me on like how to navigate college with a service dog and maybe how to squeeze them under a desk, you know, let me know. Leave that comment down below. So everybody, thanks for watching today. And Tal and I will see you out, about, and online. Bye!